Please have a seat. Anywhere? We have three seats here. One, two, three. Wherever you'd like to sit. Um, was anyone else going to arrive for this meeting? Okay. Okay. Well, the first thing I would like to ask is can I interest you in a refreshing glass of water? Yes. Yes, Santa Fe's finest. Mm. Okay, excellent. Let me grab a glass. Okay. So. so, this is my favorite glass to drink out of. It brings me good luck. And I would like to share some of that good luck with you, if that's okay. Wonderful. So, in the business of deck staining, it is quite customary to drink the entire glass before starting the meeting. But obviously, um, that's kind of just the old ways of how we did things, so I um, feel no pressure to do it, but you understand? Um, you're just rejecting our customs. There you go. Yep, just take that. Here, I'll hold it up for you. Okay, try it. Okay, was that good? No? Okay. Well, um, we are entitled to our own I'll set that over here for you in case you are feeling like you want something tart. Okay. Good. So, I have a lot to cover within our meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and drink some water myself. They don't let me have the good stuff, so. So, I would like to start off by making your chart. So, client number 425. Okay, and the date is, what's today's date? Okay, just, we can do that. Okay, one twenty-three. Okay, can you believe we're almost at the end of April? Time, it flies, yeah. So, so I'm going to be taking notes as we go over this. I really want to know your likes and your dislikes. Not hold back. Okay. It's very important that we have that communication nice and open. Okay. So let's kind of recap. I understand that we did your deck um, three months ago. Yeah, but you you wanted to wait it to see if you could get like a better feel for your deck 
and how it like sits in your yard. Okay. So, so we're there now, right? Okay, good. So, what are the dimensions? Dimensions. Okay. So, 14 feet by 20 feet. 20 feet. Okay. That sounds a little bit off to me. I think I can check the previous files. I think it was actually hmm, it was eleven feet by ten. Okay, eleven feet by ten. Have you added to your deck or anything? Okay. Okay, so I'm just We'll circle back, but <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure it was 11 by 10. This just helps us determine how much stain we need for your deck. Okay. So a few things that I want to talk about is what? Obviously. So we have solid color stains and we also have transparent ones so we have wood stains solid colors semi transparent and then completely transparent i would like to share something with you our currency used to be backed by gold as you know that's no longer a thing i think that our currency should be backed by wood now if you want to go with solid color that's that's on you but i think with the cost of wood it's something you might want to showcase it might come off as composites or maybe plywood we don't do that here you don't okay so every color that we have is available in solid and semi-transparent so if you see a color that you like and you are wanting solid or semi-transparent let me know. Okay, so here we have our browns, as you can see, darker down here. This one is just very black, actually, and it's called slate. Slate right there. And then up here we have lighter browns and this kind of transitions into an orange these browns transition into a more red color and here we have black that transitions out to grays and then eventually this very cape cod gray Something I will say is this top row is going to be more of a rustic feel. Maybe if you like farming, gardening, just simple life. And there is nothing wrong with simplicity, okay? In a natural way. And then here, this kind of bleeds into a golden color, a touch of orange. This is something that I believe will just look absolutely gorgeous when we are transitioning into the fall. It's going to be lovely. And then here is a very modern row. Okay, so we have black, Cordovian brown, coffee, 
computer Stonehenge Stonehenge Cape Cod Gray Very modern and the only thing that I would kind of be weary about with choosing what's modern, what's hot is that nothing is hot forever not even the sun okay these fads, they come and they go and it's so quick okay, and they don't typically come back now, can you please tell me is your family out on your deck quite often? Do you have any pets? Pets. Okay, they kind of come and go. Pets. Okay. But some cats, maybe dogs. Cats, dogs. Um. Okay, great. Great. That's really good. Uh, how many people are in your family? Do you intend to add to your family? Okay. That's not really a decision that you need to go into depth with me about so don't worry so these that we offer here also are, are water based wood stains now these are solid obviously so we have all of these so at a first glance would you mind telling me your eye first goes to without even thinking. Okay, okay, very interesting. So, first, I choose drift gray. So, do you find yourself being a bit more drawn to the modern style? suggest this one right here and it's called wedge wood okay so I do have a picture of your house I looked it up on Zillow and I think this would match wonderfully you have a lot of foliage so this is going to really bring that out I would maybe refrain from these greens as it may camouflage your foliage that you have around your home okay so classic colors obviously would be chestnut sable terracotta russet wood chip and tugboat is really pushing it but I would consider it to be quite natural okay sandal hmm? how, do you, how do you pronounce that word? weird weird sandal with like a sand like a Y Okay, I'll write that down just for my own knowledge. So, <clears throat> uh, 
I must say that our heavy hitters, our big sellers right now, are Cape Cod Grey, Stone Edge, and Pewter. Some of the colors that we saw here on the first page. So these three, those are pretty big. And, mm hmm you are feeling that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make a note that you are feeling it. So, just... For stone edge, you're kind of leaning that way. Okay. <clears throat> Not a problem. Not a problem. And I would like to discuss semi-transparent colors. Okay. So far we have gone over solid. You seem to like them. Despite what I said about a currency earlier. That makes you so unique. As you can see here, the wood will peek through, so you will still be able to feel the grooves of the wood and also see the green and some of these ones. Once again, our semi-transparent colors also do very well in pewter, stone edge, and Cape Cod Grey. Have you ever been to Cape Cod? Cape Cod? No. Okay. That makes no sense. Okay. Oh, chocolate? Mm -hmm. That's what chocolate would look like in that color. And then as I was suggesting earlier, wood wedge we have right here. Mm -hmm. You like that? Mm -hmm. Yes, and cedar. Yes, please come closer. So we have cedar. Okay. So as far as natural color. How are we feeling about Wedgwood? Okay, so that's going to be a dislike. Speak up um, when you tell me things that you don't like, okay? Uh, so I assume things like Atlantic is out of the question. Okay. How are you feeling about Navajo white, Pinto white, and just regular white? Mm. Just, okay, take it or leave it. I'll remember that. Okay. As far as building your file, I think we have a lot of things here. I would just like to cover the reds. How do we feel about the reds? Okay, that's a very strong opinion. And I respect I respect that. Okay. And I'm just going to add cedar natural tone as kind of our control color. It's in between all of the colors that you have mentioned and it will be a bit of a palette cleanser. So if 
you see one you like, you look at that, and then I will present cedar. Natural tone. This is going pretty good. I like it. So let's go ahead and I know you don't really have much of an open mind to transparent colors. I'm just gonna breeze right through these. We have uncoated cedar, golden honey, antique oak, chocolates, Cordovian brown. Cordovian Excellent. So, as far as our transparency. So, be like eight. And on a scale of a 1 to 10, how does it make you feel? Okay, a 7. And how do you feel typically with an unstained deck? Okay. Yeah, like a 5. Six, five to six. That's completely normal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. It's all adding up here. And you did mention the reds are just not gonna happen. Okay. We also have semi transparent, semi transparent chocolate. There's our cedar natural tone and redwood of the three. One, two, three. Okay. All right. No problem. And then we have oil based wood finishes, uncoated and clear. Okay. We're just not going to even talk about that. So, I think I have a really good idea of what you're looking for, what I can give to you. I'd like to begin talking textures, okay? Okay. Alrighty. Now, I know sometimes People just don't want to talk about that. This can really add, first of all, safety to your deck. No slipping, no sliding, things like that. You may not like the way it looks, but it's important to at least take the information in. So we have smooth here. Textured. You can kind of hear that. And then we have extra textured. So what I will say about extra texture is from far away you can you can hardly see it. Can you tell? No. Can you tell here? You can tell a little bit. Okay. So, if you or someone in your family is quite clumsy, I would heavily suggest you go with extra texture. I had a sister. That's the end of the story. I think you know what happened. So we also have different colors that we can do that. Barn, red, people love it. You hate it, okay. What about chestnut? Okay, chestnut. What are you thinking about the texture, first of all? What are you thinking? Okay, maybe textured, but not extra. Okay, a 
Adobe Brown. Yeah, Brady. Wonderful. I think Adobe Brown would look wonderful in extra textured. It would mm, blend. Okay. Extra te textured. And of course on the back we have some fun colors. Some colors that pop. Greens. Mm hmm. Those are really nice. They're cute. But once again, the foliage, you know? Mm hmm. Black. Yes, this one is Castle Gray. So, you know, in Santa Fe, lots of people would go with a Castle Gray. Mm hmm. something sandy. We have desert sand, golden beige, sage is quite nice. I know you're not saying it, but you are attracted to green. I can see it in your eyes, but you don't really want to express that, so it is a quiet attraction. And I have been doing this job for years. I have been trained on picking up on the quiet attractions. Maybe there's something in your life that you think would tell you no, but I'm here to let you know. I'm not that person. Your partner may be, though. <coughs> Okay. Wrangler Brown, Tugboat. Yes, Tugboat again keeps coming up. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So, here's what we will do. I think your heart isn't quite settled. I am going to go ahead and pack it some of this up for you. You can take it home, hold it on your deck, and see. I don't really like doing the, uh, you know, little patches to see what you like best. I don't think that's necessary. So. Just go home, think it over, take your time, okay? You can give me a call back, I'm gonna write my number down here. And when you call, that's gonna ring straight to my assistant. Yes, and she will connect you over to me morning, noon, or night. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So I have one. Let's go ahead and do that. And I also want you to leave notes for me back as well. Whenever we meet up, we can discuss. Mm hmm. So.
card in the back. So these are loose, but we are going to join them. These rings, I find them quite useful. You are free to keep all of this. So let's just pick the good ones. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, that's a good one. Alright, so you should be able to reflect on all the things that we discussed. I have your client number right here, likes, dislikes. You can flip to this. Things that just really stood out to me. And then I would like for you to come back having filled out a little bit of this note section that's going to be for me. But other than that, you are free to take home your packet and even take home these booklets. Okay. Alrighty. Well, it was so good to see you. I cannot wait for you to make up your mind. And for us to